just from the bottom. You can yep. cook from the top and the bottom. You can smash, you can smush, <laughs> yeah, you can you adjust panini the heat. press, absolutely. Yep, it comes with a regular lid as well. Oh, paninis would be so Absol good. Paninis, I was saying like for grilled sure. cheese, Cuban sandwiches. Yep. Um, but the point is, you are cooking from both top and bottom if you want to. So not only can you get flat bacon yep. or smash burgers, you get quicker, more even heating too. So we can envision a grilled cheese, we can envision a panini. I've never seen two elements top and bottom. That are both cooking? That are both cooking at the same yeah. time. So 600 watts on each, so 1,200 watts in total. Wow. Think about outside the box. Okay. Quick chicken dinner. Here's my chicken cutlet that I've kind of sliced oh. nice and thin. Some Italian seasoning, some olive oil. In it oh. goes. Oh, it's cooking on the bottom. this would be so Cube good. Cube would be amazing. Oh, yeah. On the bottom okay. and on the top. And oh, I'm gonna leave it. it. So it's now cooking, top and bottom. If I want a weeknight meal, okay. I want my chicken and I want it in seven to eight minutes, you're doing this. Oh my this. gosh. It's searing on each side. Think about your steaks, your pork chops, your chicken, and it's fast. Speed is in the name for a reason. We're gonna see that in real time, and seven I love, minutes. And I'm not using a burner either. And you're not using a burner, and it's non-stick. So again, if you wanna cook with less fat, you can cook with less fat okay. and it won't stick. Okay, so BLTs. think about your proteins. I want my BLTs. You want your BLTs. How about just bacon in the morning and you want it to stay flat. You don't want the bacon to curl up. This is a great way to cook your bacon because top and bottom, it's gonna sandwich that bacon to give you a flat, crispy piece of yeah. bacon. And because what? it's nonstick, it's going top and bottom. Yeah. I also like to glaze my bacon in maple syrup, something sugary and really nice. Oh my gosh. It will not stick. So I'm not worried about cleanup. I'm keeping my bacon flat. Yeah. It's so cool for proteins like that, but then of course also for sandwiches, leftovers, all of that good Wouldn't stuff. Wouldn't this be great for like camping or tailgating? If you Absolutely. have a power source and you're able, and a lot of, you could easily plug that in and yeah. cook without a burner. So you can cook both sides, top, bottom. You can also just use one side okay. if you want. And it comes with the lid. So let's say you do want to do a burger and melt cheese, put the lid on. I love it just for eggs. Look at this. I've done a little shakshuka. Eggs baked in tomato sauce with some spices. That lid is gonna help your eggs kind of mm -hmm. basically poach in that tomato sauce. Yeah. And you open it up, the eggs are cooked. You don't have to worry about poaching it in water. So anything where you want to capture steam, we talked about it earlier, you can do so with that clear lid. So it's so versatile because again, if I wanna use just the bottom, yeah. use just the bottom and use the lid. You can also use bottom and top same time. And look at the heat. It's awesome. So 600 watts of power on each side. This little guy is it's amazing. amazing. How, I mean, $39.97 yes. for this. So I got excited when I was prepping the show. I was writing yeah, down yeah. all these ideas. I wrote paninis, bacon yes. press, pancakes, griddle, fry pan, grilled cheese, smash burgers, yeah. steaks, Cubans. I mean, all these ideas all just started coming to mind. What are we doing here? Okay, here you can have a little crepe bar. Oh. So think about crepes, top, bottom, I'm gonna do a quick, quick crepe. Okay. I put my batter in here, okay? Never flip it, you don't have to flip. You don't have to do the flip So get your batter, swirl it around. If ever you've worried about kind of flipping a crepe, there. I've swirled it around so it's an even layer. Okay. Top and bottom. Give it two minutes maybe. Don't let me forget about that one, Michelle. Okay, tell me about two the minutes. controls uh, too. And pancakes as well, pancakes, crepes without flipping. Controls are easy, low and high. That's okay. it. That's all you gotta <laughs> I do. I can handle that. Right? Grilled cheeses, paninis, pressed sandwiches, smash burgers. These things are great because they're heating and they're compressed yeah. at the same time. Listen for this. Oh, it's there just it gonna goes. go. And then just let the weight kind of press just let it down the as it goes. Just let the weight do its thing. Oh, I so, love that. So again, 600 watts of power on each side. So on something as simple as a grilled cheese sandwich, we're talking about 1200 watts of power. So you're not sacrificing power, but we are cooking with speed and Compression. It's really, really so great. So that's the black, and then that's we the have it in the red. And as you can mm. see, there's this like cable, this cord, where yep. if you use the top, you plug it into the bottom. Exactly. And that's how it works. So if okay. I want to use both of them at the same time, I'll connect the top and the bottom. Okay. Over here with the shakshuka, I didn't do that. I just used the one just side. Just the bottom part. That's okay. right. And you get the glass lid as well. You can see, by the Look way, my the chicken. chicken. Look at the color on my chicken. And this has only been, I don't know, two or three minutes, right? Beautiful browning, wow. and it's almost like, have you ever seen on a menu, I'll show you one more time, have you ever seen on a menu like a brick pressed chicken? Yes. That whole idea is that you're putting pressure on top, yeah. making it flat, getting nice even surface area, touching your chicken, and boom. I said seven minutes. I it mean, might be even quicker. You put actually. me on crepe duty, and I'm feeling like we need oh, to check the crepes. crepes. You can take I a peek. I can't forget. I don't want to forget. 
Oh, no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. We'll give it more time. Give it another second. You know what I've been seeing a lot online is these smash burgers. Yes. And all of these ways that people are making them and they're like, put it in the pan and then put a heavy pan on top and then right, when right, you're right. ready, you can flip it or hopefully it will cook all the way through and then one side's cooked and one's not. This would be perfect for that. This is perfect for that because you do your smash burger. Yeah. Now you're cooking it. What I like to do at home, um, there's my crepe, by the way. Look at this. I didn't have to flip it. Look at the oh color. Oh my gosh, that's so Boom. exciting. Perfect crepe, right? And so, there's nothing on the pan. Nothing. It's not going to stick. I'm going to keep doing crepes because I love them. So you can, you know, do your smash burger. I'll show you one more crepe, by the way. Okay. Put a little in. Give it a little swirly swirl. So all your batter goes around. Now you've got a crepe bar at home. Top. And, and you saw that's straight batter. And when yeah. we open it up, you see how clean it was. Totally clean. And look at the color on my crepe. Beautiful browning on that crepe. Nothing stuck. So whether it's a protein like chicken or your bacon or a crepe or a pancake, nothing's going to stick. Yeah. That's the color you get. I can't emphasize this enough. Speed is in the name. Yeah, it right? is quick. We're cooking now, with speed Now, I'm going to say, here. what about hash browns? Hash Those browns, are the hardest. Absolutely. You want it to get so crispy before you flip it over. Use Ooh. this. You've got the lid cooking and the bottom cooking at the same time. If you don't want Whoa. both, you Bacon's get a done. regular. What? How is the bacon done? Look at my bacon. That usually takes forever to get right. And look. Look at that. Nothing has curled. Perfectly flat bacon. Oh, it smells so good. If you've got the time, and I do have a video of this on the page of the product, okay. you can kind of do like a bacon weave, right? Oh, kinda yeah. Kind of weave it like, like a, a lattice. lattice. Okay. Exactly, right? So super fast bacon, completely flat. And we did this, I don't know, Michelle. That was a couple of minutes, honestly. Three we minutes? We went down the Four line minutes? and came back. And, you and also, if you're putting bacon in that, you don't have the splatter. No everywhere. splatter. How much mess does that always make, right? Look at my Look chicken. Look at this chicken. Oh, what would you so, pair with this? You talk about I like a brick know. pressed chicken. Oh, it looks so Look good. Look at that. Wow. Totally browned. I always like to do a little tomato vinaigrette on top, yeah. right? So throw in your tomatoes, a little arugula. If you got that twist grater earlier, some shaved Parmesan cheese on top. Oh, that looks so good. So there's my weeknight dinner. Yeah. It's non-stick, so you don't have to put any added fat. And Your chicken done. breast is done in like six, seven minutes. I'm thinking palomia steaks in this. Steaks. Oh my gosh, because you, you can do them nice and thin. Yeah. And again, get it nice and crispy. You're cooking from the top and the bottom. That's so simple. These Let's are do another one. massive cuts of chicken too. I mean, they are opened up. They're Beautiful. huge. This is a big, what size is this pan? Is it nine and a half? Look at that. Don't forget the lid. Is this 10 inch? 10 oh, inch. Wait. 10 and a quarter inch diameter heating pan here, completely non-stick. Two heating levels to select from. You get the tempered glass lid as well if you don't want to cook top and bottom. Yep. But here's an idea, do your crepes. Do like a big old giant pancake. How tasty would that be? Look your at my crepes. Cheese. Look at how perfect that came out. Okay, can we just show this for a minute? No Look. mess, no mess. Perfect completely non-stick, easy peasy. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I, you're going to use stuck. this for entertaining. You don't have to use a an eye on your stovetop because you just plug this in yep. and go. And the reason it's called the speed fry pan is you are cooking faster. I mean, we did that chicken in maybe eight minutes. Because you're cooking top and bottom and you've got tons of power here, 1,200 watts if you're doing it on high, that's my <laughs> kind of grilled cheese right here. Nice and crispy. There's my smushed up. I bet that cheese is melted perfect. Look at that. That's the sound you can hear you want. the crisp. I can oh see the gosh. cheese oozing out. So something as simple as a grilled oh, that's cheese, good. bringing an old left leftover slice of pizza back to life. Yeah. This is a great way to do oh. that as well, right? So just for leftovers. Panini. I wish I had a knife to cut into look this at grilled the cheese. cheese, but you could oh see it. Oh my gosh! That's it's, perfect. Look at this, guys. Look at the cheese kind of oozing out. The best grilled cheese you're ever going to have. Holy Chicken cow. in seven minutes. And you put two bacon. of those in the same time. You do two of them at the you same time. You make a little um, tomato soup. That's my yep. kid's favorite dinner. Easy peasy on everybody. Bacon's working. The bacon working. is getting smushed flat while we're cooking. Use your lid to melt the cheese on your burgers to do your eggs. Delicious. So the lid will allow you to capture the steam if you only want to use one side. If you want to use both sides, which I think is totally cool for that pressed chicken, yeah. for that steak, for the, you know, the smash burger for that flat bacon that I've done in three or four minutes. Love it. For the crepes, the pancakes without the flippage. Look at that. I love doing crepes And you can just peek. Way. Like if you you're curious, peek. you want to see what's happening, you're like, ah, so maybe like, a look, couple more minutes. My wife actually likes it like that. Okay. She likes it a little blonde. I like it a little darker. So you can just put it back on. 
You can peak, no problem. You're cooking with both sides, 600 watts yeah. of power each side, which and is And just totally to walk cool. you through too, uh, it, you plug this in to yep. run it. There's high-low, that's it. That's, that's all it. you have to worry about. If you decide you wanna use the top, you just connect the two, right? It's got this cord. That's it. And you're gonna plug it into the bottom then one. You can do and it, it like comes that. with a regular lid too, a tempered glass lid yep. with a steam hole to escape and you can see right through it and see what's cooking and how. But this is gonna give you quicker cooking Yum even cooking and top and bottom. So not only does it make it faster, yep. but that helps you create things like these crepes without flipping, uh, grilled cheese without smushing or flipping or smashing. The Look flat bacon I think is incredible. We did yeah. chicken. You could put whole steaks in here, couldn't you? I, I did not? two steaks in here. It's great for veg Man. too, so I've done